You guys ever have one of those problems when you can't find the right size bit to get the fastener out? The fastener might be welded in place because of years of corrosion. Well, there are some ways that we can uh, solve this problem. If it's rounded out, if it just doesn't fit traditional uh, standard or metric size Allens, you have one go-to. Don't mess it up. This is one of your last go-tos before we end up drilling. And you don't want to drill stainless steel fasteners. They're extremely hard and it's not cool. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, man, let's do it. So what we got, here, go ahead, I'll let you do it. So what we do is we find a close torx. You can see I went through all my different torx size right here. And you go ahead and put it in as far as it'll go. Okay, find the cam spot. So rotate it a little bit until you find where it kind of wants to naturally sit. And go ahead and give her some, some hard knocks. Then they're good? Yeah. All right. All right, man. So go ahead and place that guy on. And let's go ahead and slowly apply some pressure. And if it feels like it's starting to slip, is it slipping? No, it's good. Yes. It's coming out. If it starts slipping, then what we do is we tap on the top of it with this while we're giving it some rotational torque. And that will drive it in further while you are applying torque to, to remove it. So, And the tapping, if anything, will help pull it out because it helps loosen up the corrosion that's keeping the fastener in the first place. But there you go guys, Torx. I keep a good set for working on Torx bits, but I also keep some of these cheaper ones like the Harbor Freight, because these ones are excellent if you get one of those rounded out Allen screws, which they're infamous, especially in surgical equipment. Keep some generic Torx that are expendable so that you could beat them in and get your fasteners out.